Okay, uh, lesson one here, geometry terms, just some basic terms you need to know. A point is just a single location in space. Represent that with a dot and a letter. This would be called point A. A line extends uh, forever in two directions. So, for example, it's going to keep going both ways, so we put an arrow on the end. We'll name it by naming two points that are on the line. So we could call this line BC. And if you're going to write it in a sentence, you'd write it like that, or you could write line BC. Either way, fine with me. It keeps going, okay, past these arrows. Uh, line segment uh, ends at two points. So for example, it looks like this. This would be segment BC, or you could say segment BC, if you want to write it out like that. Okay, it doesn't go past, it just ends there and there. There's infinite points between. Okay, there's infinite number of points between, but it does end. The line keeps going, there's infinite points over here, and over here, and infinite points between. I could draw as many points as I wanted between here if I wanted to. Okay, array extends in one direction. Okay, so for example, it goes just one way. We'll name it by a starting point and then another point that's on it. You can name it like this, BC with a line over it, or, or say ray BC. Just realize if it goes the other way, Say it was like this and a B and a C, we'd call this race CB. Okay, name it starting point first and then where the arrow goes second. All right, so that would be the opposite. CB would be the name of that. A plane is a flat surface. Uh, it actually keeps extending also, so we draw it like this, like a parallelogram. So. It's just, that's how you represent the flat surface, and then we need to name it using three points that are on the plane. So if you can see that, it's A, B, and C. So we'd say plane A, B, C. All right, you just name it using any three points on the plane. Okay, it's just a flat, totally flat surface that actually extends forever in all directions. So you could have a point out here and say, well, that's also on the plane as long as it's you know, in the same surface, if you'd extend the surface out farther, you know, it actually keeps going out. Collinear, um, on the same line, right? Linear is in the word. Coplanar, on the same plane. Okay, we'll get to those here, down here at the bottom. Intersecting lines and planes, okay, generally if you have, like, say, two lines, they will intersect at a point. Okay, so intersect at A, that's easy. At point A, we can just say A. Uh, two planes intersecting is a little harder to draw. You could draw it like this, kind of like a parallelogram like that, and then one like that. Okay, if I kind of draw a bunch of letters here, E and F. Okay, so this is like, we could call this plane uh, ABD because I only need to use three letters. So these point, these three points, because they're on this plane here, if I shade it, that's plane ABD. You could call it ABC, you could call it CDA. You just gotta use any three of these letters to name this plane. And then, and plane, this plane, choose three of these letters, CFE. Any three that would define this plane. Where do they intersect? Okay, they're going to intersect along this line here, actually. And since these planes keep going, in theory, these planes keep extending out like this, we would actually say they intersect along this line, CD. So I'd say CD with a line over it would be the correct answer there. Okay, so they intersect here because this plane and this plane touch each other on that corner. Okay, Okay, here's some examples. Sketch ray AB, or line AB, ray BC. 
that are non-collinear intersect at B. You know, they're intersecting at B, and it's line AB. So make sure you put the arrows on the ends is what I'm looking for. See, so show that's a line. Um, and BC is a ray that starts at B and goes through C. So it's got to have the arrow over there. Uh, they're intersecting at B. Uh, sketch segment AB and segment BL that, that are collinear means on the same line. So if AB and BL are on the same line, it basically means they're in line with each other. Okay, so basically like this and this, that's collinear. They are in line, uh, they exist on the same line. Sketch line AB and line CD that intersect at E, that's pretty easy. Here's the line AB. Uh, here's line CD. They need to intersect at E. All right, and then as far as graphing these out, pretty straightforward. Just make a nice graph. Try to do it neatly. Remember, uh, 1, 2 means over 1 and up 2. Label them. That's A. 4, 3 means over 4 and up 3. That's B. And then negative 3, 1 is back here. That's C. Okay, segment AB means it just is a segment, no arrows. Ray CB, and it's going to be kind of weird, but it's going to be kind of like this, I guess. I don't think they're in line with each other, so they're not quite matching up right there. Okay. And down here, some reasoning questions. These are a little tricky. Three points are collinear. Always, sometimes, or never. you got to kind of think of a picture. If I draw three points, are they collinear? Well, there they are. These three are not, so I'm going to say sometimes. So you're going to have to kind of draw a picture or see a picture in your head in order to see, hey, sometimes they're collinear, sometimes they're not. Three points are coplanar. That one's always, okay? That one's a little harder to see, but if you have three points, they're actually always in a plane. Um, that one's a little trickier, but just know that three points are always co coplanar. Uh, two lines will intersect. Okay, two lines. Okay, yeah, there they intersect. Well, what if they're doing this? There they don't intersect. So that one's sometimes, they might be parallel, right? That's the word. Two parallel lines will intersect. If you know parallel, means they just go in the same direction. Uh, they never intersect, if you know what a parallel means. And then the last one there, point A, a point on ray AB is also on ray BA. That's tricky. Here's a, ray AB. Here's ray BA would go the other way if it's the same points here. So saying, hey, if it's on this ray, is it on this ray? Well, I guess we kind of circle them like this is AB, and then over here would be BA. Might be a better way to do it. Forget about this. Okay, so if it's on AB, is it also on BA? Well, if it's points right here, that one's, if it's on AB, then it's also on BA. But what about, say, the point out here? That's on AB. But it's actually not on BA, because BA only goes this way. So I would say sometimes, because it depends where the point is. If it's here, then yeah, that's true. If it's out here or out here, it's actually not true. So that looks like a sometimes also. Those are tough. you got to be able to understand what it's asking and reason about it, which is tough. Okay?